The place, Washington, D.C. The date, March 3, 1913. The occasion, the first suffragist parade in the nation's capital. 5,000 women gather to march along Pennsylvania Avenue, the same route of the next day's inaugural parade for President Woodrow Wilson. The procession, organized by the National American Women's Suffrage Association, heralded a new approach to the suffrage movement, one more bold and demanding. No longer were these women content to accept limited voting rights gained bit by bit here and there. They were on a mission to gain the right to vote across the country under the same terms as men. Leading the procession as a herald of the future, the new woman of the 20th century, was Inez Milholland riding a white horse named Grey Dawn. Behind her was the first of over 20 floats, displaying a banner with a slogan that would become known as the Great Demand. Organized to demonstrate section by section the accomplishments of women in the nation and around the world, the march also included bands playing patriotic songs. But what began as a beautiful day with a grand plan quickly turned ugly because the crowd, estimated to be at least 250,000 strong, did not stay on the sidewalk. They began to block the street. Police were unable or unwilling to control the crowds. The marchers tried their best to continue but quickly found themselves trapped in a sea of hostile, jeering men. They were manhandled and spat upon. Some women fled, but most were determined to continue. Some crying, they locked arms and faced the ambush. They used banner poles, flags, and hat pins to ward off attack and held their ground until the U.S. Army troops called in from Fort Myer by Secretary of War Henry Stimson restored order so the procession could continue. And continue it did, ending with a dramatic tableau on the steps of the Treasury Building. The next day, headlines and pictures in newspapers around the country showed the nation what had happened. Congress authorized an investigation, and the continued publicity brought new attention and energy to the suffrage movement, energy that would eventually result in the successful enactment of the 19th Amendment.